Okay, I'm doing a short video to try to explain how I achieved this result. Uh, when one looks at this image, one might think that I used Photoshop to mask the foreground, the head of the dinosaur, and then insert between its teeth the head of the unicorn. Uh, yes, I did use Photoshop, but not in this way. I achieved this result by using an in-camera uh, technique, an in-camera possibility that now we have. We used to do this manually before, which was very difficult to control. Uh, in many modern cameras, there is a setting which is called focus stacking. Practically, it takes care of itself to stay focusing the camera, sorry, focusing the lens slowly um, from the closest point to the furthest point. Uh, you choose the number of shots. Usually it stops when it gets to infinity. And in this case, I'm, I, I try to use it for the first time with a very strong telephoto lens. With a 70 millimeter lens, uh, I got everything in focus at f22, but I didn't get the result that I wanted because um, it's just too far away. The head of the unicorn uh, is too far away uh, from, uh, you know, as a composition. With a 600 millimeter lens, I couldn't get, even if I had the smallest aperture at f29, I had to choose whether to focus, to have in focus the head of the dinosaur or the head of the unicorn. I couldn't get both. And uh, that's where photo stacking comes in. The camera starts, uh, you, you focus on the closest point, in this case, the head of the dinosaur, and, uh, and then let the camera do its magic by slowly every, every second, uh, it depends how much time you give it, but I gave it sort of, you know, um, that it does it immediately. There was nothing here that was moving, so I didn't have a, to worry about it. And uh, slowly the camera uh, focuses from the closest point to, in this case, not infinity, but the head of the unicorn. Then you import all the images into Lightroom, uh, select them, give them the same exposure. I mean, the camera also gave them all the same exposure. It locks the exposure with the first frame. Uh, you export them from Lightroom into Photoshop, open all, in this case, 137 uh, layers, uh, select all the layers, the layers together. Once they're imported, it takes some time. It depends how strong your computer is. Then you, once you select the layers, you choose auto blend layer um, uh, from the menu. And uh, when the window opens up, you choose uh, stack images, not panorama in this case. What Photoshop does is that it uh, starts going through all uh, those layers and removes all the unfocused uh, pixels in the files, masks them out, and then it gives you this result at the end. And, uh, and so, that's why I wanted to explain, uh, this is a kind of uh, technique which one can use to get uh, something very close and something far away, both in focus. As I said, usually it's used with a wide angle lens. Uh, this is the first time I used it myself with such a strong telephoto lens like a 600 millimeters. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.